The capability and productivity of a three-axis VMC can be greatly enhanced by adding a rotary table as a fourth axis of motion or a tilting rotary table as a fourth and fifth axis of motion. Perhaps you've thought about adding this capability but believed it was complicated, expensive, or assumed you needed to buy a whole new machine with a true four-axis or five-axis CNC control. This is probably not the case. First, let's categorize typical vertical machining center workpieces into three groups. First, rectangular parts, machining probably on a tombstone, multiple parts doing multiple sides in a single operation. Indexer only has to move to every 90 degrees of orientation. Secondly, and these can be quite complicated parts. This part came off of a lathe. I first have to orient this way to, to cut a slot, a slot here. Then there are 144 small slots every two and a half degrees around the perimeter. Finally, we need to have cut out, do these three cutouts. I need to plunge in a tool, rotary cut, pull out, move over, same thing three times. It can be a very complicated part. Finally, we have a part Example is this propeller. We have to do simultaneous rotary and XYZ moves. We have to generate a, a, a helical contour, a helical cut. Anytime I have to do simultaneous rotary and XYZ moves, those fall into a separate category. If your parts are anything like these first two, then adding a fourth axis of motion or even a fourth and fifth axis of motion to any of your existing vertical machining centers is quite easy and quite affordable. Only if your parts require simultaneous rotary and XYZ moves like this propeller or a cam or something like that is a true four axis or five axis CNC control required. This is our AccuSmart control. It will drive a rotary table to any of 360,000 positions around a circle. It will drive you for doing slow feed rate rotary cutting. The only thing you can't properly do with the AccuSmart is make simultaneous rotary and XYZ moves. Now if your vertical machining center was built prior to 1988, you're probably going to have to use M-code communication between your CNC control and the AccuSmart. That's going to require you to enter the entire rotary program, all the rotary moves, into the AccuSmart control. And then as the machining process requires a rotary move, the machine sends an M-code to the AccuSmart, executes that move, whether it's a rapid positioning move or whether it's a slow feed rate move and until the, the workpiece is completed. If your machine was built since 1988, it probably has the capability to communicate with the CNC control via and between the CNC and the AccuSmart via an RS-232 line. If that's uh, the case and you have that capability, and most machines do, then no shop floor programming is required. You never need to touch the AccuSmart. We can mount it behind the machine. You simply have to turn it on in the morning. All of your programming for your XYZ and your fourth axis rotary moves, as well as fourth and fifth axis road and tilt rotary and tilting moves, can all be programmed and stored in your standard three axis CNC machine control. As the machining uh, program proceeds, requiring a rotary move, the CNC control sends the complete command via the RS-232 line down to the AccuSmart. AccuSmart executes that command, sends back the completion signal, your machine then proceeds with the machining.